For those of you who have me in class, you might be asked to create a, an e-portfolio, or perhaps you're asked to create a product where you are uh, publishing it to the public. So today I want to share with you three different ways that you can go about finding images that allow you to reuse, redistribute those uh, publicly. This is called the Creative Commons License, and I want to show you three different ways that you can search for these types of images, images that fall under this Creative Commons License. Generally speaking, a Creative Commons License allows you to reuse an image, in this case, uh, without having to get permission from the, the originator or the author of that work. So you need to pay what's called that attribution. You need to provide a link and share information about what kind of license it is. But if you share or if you um, include attribution, a link back to where the user can find that information and they recognize what kind of license it is, then you're able to use that image. So I'm going to give you three different ways that you can find uh, this information. And one is using a DuckDuckGo bang that is using the exclamation mark CC for Creative Commons. Let's say you want to find images related to trees. This will take you to this page here where these images now are free to use again as long as you pay attribution. Now you can filter here in this case even further if you want to search for a particular type of Creative Commons. Uh, license. I'm not going to get into the details. Uh, we can talk about this in class and, and I can clarify uh, the difference uh, between these types. But the first step is to find images that again fall under this, uh, this type of license. Another way that you can go about finding images is to use DuckDuckGo again, search images, and then select settings. Sorry, select here. Instead of all license, by default, it will look like this. So if you change this to Creative Commons license, uh, you can do that. You can also search for public domain, which allows you to use any images without even having to pay attribution. You can just reuse it, redistribute it as you wish without having to link back to the original source. Okay, that's again up to you. And a third way is to use Google. Go to Images and select instead of all you can select tools user rights creative commons license this will filter through and give you results for in this case searching for trees that uh, include images that you're able to use notice that when you compare these three to three ways of finding images you in some cases you get more results than others so again I would experiment and try these three different ways and see what kind of results that you get but again any kind of image that you include in your e-portfolio or any other product that you're asked to complete where images are being used to share publicly we want to be careful and make sure that we have permission and the best way to do that I think is to use in this case images that fall under a creative commons license which allows you again to be able to use that image to publish it to redistribute to edit it as you wish as long as you pay attribution attribution means you need to link back to the original source and include the username and the type of license that is used for that particular uh, image in this case or the work okay so if you click on this image, you get that information here. And uh, for example, this is the name of the, the license here. This, is, this gives you a little bit more detail as to what kind of Creative Commons license it is. Username is also included here. And of course, the link. So if anybody has any questions or you're not sure about how to find um, images, if you're not sure if the image that you did find, if it is... Under Creative Commons license, make sure you ask for clarification. And uh, you can ask me in class, of course. Uh, or if you have uh, some other uh, questions about how to find these images, make sure you're reaching out to me and uh, so I can give you some uh, suggestions.